Bamboo is a highly adaptable plant that can grow in almost any kind of climatic conditions and thrive in the poorest of soils. It has been in existence for hundreds of years in Asia, Latin America and some parts of Africa. Yet for a long time, the potential of this fastest growing plant for the rural poor across the globe. Africa has a huge reserve of largely untapped indigenous bamboo and excellent conditions for growing. This important natural resource provides a practical and rapid solution for a number of poverty challenges faced by African countries. The effectiveness of bamboo has been proven for restoring damaged land and ecosystems for combating climate change and avoiding deforestation and boosting rural livelihoods through job creation and income generation. Bamboo's potential remains largely unrecognized in Africa. Ethiopia, the country with two-thirds of Africa's bamboo potential, is placed with best bamboo varieties. The country has the largest area of commercially untapped bamboo in East Africa, making it attractive to investment partners from the industry. Ethiopia has unmatched bamboo potential next to coffee. The species are also best in Africa in terms of quality. We have the highland bamboo varieties in Oromia and southern states and the lowland bamboo in some parts of Oromia and, of course, in Ben Shangul state, where much of the bamboo resource is found. Nine percent of the state's land is covered by bamboo forest. That means we have 495,564 hectares of land covered with bamboo. We can classify the resources into dense and scattered forest types, suitable for the production of almost anything. Bamboo is used to make a number of high-value products. According to the United Nations Environment Program, UNEP, the plant has over 2,000 different uses. Commercially, it is used for furniture and a variety of building and roofing materials from fencing poles to veneer, floor tiles, panels for walls and ceilings, scaffolding material, door and window frames and window shutters. In the paper and pulp industry, bamboo can be made into newsprint, toilet paper and cardboard, which would help to conserve Africa's finite resources such as its forests. The textile, food and chemicals industry convert bamboo into fabrics, t-shirts, wine, vinegar, biochemicals and pharmaceuticals. Thus, it is benefits for the economy cannot be underestimated. Yeah, we haven't made use of this potential as it is needed. Bamboo helps us to make almost anything, despite its benefit in the very traditional way. We are just starting manufacturing bamboo products in the industries. The advantage of bamboo is not something we can underestimate. It is used is even higher than that of metal, I believe. If we see China, for example, they generate substantial amount of foreign currency from bamboo products. But Ethiopia has not benefited much from it. That is because we don't have many professionals trained in its production, as well as less companies are engaged in the sector. In Ethiopia, 
Bamboo has a variety of usage. It is domestically used to make mats, baskets, fences, and household materials to mention just a few. Using it in an advanced manner is not that much developed within the country. Much of the technology and know-how for bamboo development lies in Asia, where strong bamboo economies have been developed over the years. Companies in Ethiopia aspire to draw important lessons from these countries and put their share in the process. Before it came into the modern scenes, it has for long been used traditionally. Now we are utilizing it the other way around. We try to develop it scientifically. We plant over 500,000 tree seedlings every year and distribute it to the local community. We train employees here by bringing professionals all the way from China. We have also been to China to learn more as they have a very developed bamboo sector. What I have seen from China has impressed me a lot. In China, bamboo fits in to make anything from toothpick to large furniture and other industrial materials. After long years of slumber now, the sector is seemingly flourishing in Ethiopia, with local and foreign companies entering the business. The country is now counting on its huge supply to drive growth, reduce deforestation and cut carbon emissions. The combination of the abandoned resource readily available interest from investors is believed to make Ethiopia the next frontier for the bamboo industrial revolution in Africa, many believe. There is a growing investment trend in the sector in our state. Locals are already investing in the sector. Bamboo is also attracting a considerable foreign direct investment into the country. Last year, a Chinese investor has been licensed to build a 20 million USD paper and pulp factory in our state. That's a good step forward as it would mean a lot in job creation, import substitution and technology transfer once the project is realized. An economics graduate. I am an economics graduate and I conducted my graduation paper on bamboo and it instilled in me a special interest. I came to know that it is feasible from other studies as well and embarked on this project five years back. We started small by only producing toothpick. Bamboo has changed our lives and brought us to where we are today. We have created decent jobs for fellow Ethiopians. Considering the potential of bamboo as a versatile and runeable resource that can generate sustainable development, the government is now supporting investors. There is a long way to go though. The government is encouraging us, but there are still setbacks in terms of policy, especially with regard to incentives and some required standards. Most of the bamboo resources are located in remote areas. We need more infrastructures for the resource to be more accessible. If, for example, there are electricity in the places, we can process nearby and transport the finished goods rather than bringing the unprocessed bamboo plant all the way to where our factories are located. Uh, there have to be more and more companies coming into the sector. It is lucrative business and the job can't only be carried out by a single company. If different companies enter the business, we could be more successful. We are now finalizing preparations to establish bamboo sectoral associations. It would be one step forward in strengthening the sector and we expect government assistance in this regard.
bamboo is also a source of bioenergy. The majority of Sub-Saharan Africa households use firewood or charcoal made from timber for cooking, often leading to deforestation, land degradation, and indoor pollution. As the population in Africa increases, the massive harvesting of firewood and charcoal will be unsustainable. مسرات هلا بتشو بركاتا قدهو تشالو بوان نينات جن دنيا هون الاستراتيجي كأي سنة سرنا اللو سرا. There are lots of things to take place to develop the sector if it has to be successful. One of the things we are doing is conducting an intense awareness raising programs. We have to prevent our bamboo resource from natural and man-made disasters. especially while fire is common in our state. We are also teaching our society about the benefits of bamboo beyond its traditional usage. We also conduct further studies on the potential as well as how to best utilize for the resource to support the country's economy. Despite promising market potential, those who wish to commercialize bamboo products still face hurdles such as lack of research, product innovation, and market skills. To fully benefit from the bamboo boom, the private sector needs to be at the heart of the green economy development in order to drive demand and provide investment. Again, value addition needs to be more innovative if African bamboo is to take the global market. 